sneak peek this morning into uh, the Humane Society. They do a lot of great work for those stray animals that come into them and eventually uh, our pets that come into our home. So Jessica Parsons is actually uh, giving us a sneak peek inside of the ICU. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, and Jessica, you were, you were with one of the older dogs before. Now you're just at the opposite end of the animal scale, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So we are in what's called the Bottle Baby ICU. This is a new extended area. I want to show you how tiny some of these kittens are. These are just two weeks old, and some of them are too small to even pick up. So that's why, well, and plus I'm a little allergic, just like Spencer. That's why we're not touching them right away. But we also have a group of volunteers out here and vet techs who spend hours. This is a 24-hour operation. It doesn't stop. It's right the clock and then they care for these kittens. Kelsey, what are they doing here? Yes, that is right. So like you mentioned, this is a 24-hour operation. These kittens need to be fed every two to four hours depending on how old they are. And what we really need them to do is they come in, they weigh them before, then they feed them, they weigh them again, and then just like their mother would do, they would stimulate them to go to the bathroom, clean them, and make sure that they're healthy and ready to go to get nice and strong to be eventually adopted out. And you said orphan kittens come in quite often. Where um, yes, yeah, so unfortunately we do see quite a bit of orphan kittens come into the Arizona Humane Society's Bottle Baby ICU. And that's because um, these kittens are orphaned. You know, there's storms going on right now, and that really affects our numbers. As well as, you know, sometimes just things happen to the mothers. So unfortunately, all of these kittens are orphaned. But luckily, they are here in our Bottle Baby ICU where they get the care that they need until they hopefully go to a foster hero's home, which we are in desperate need of right now. You can take Take care of some of these bottle babies in your own home and it's as easy as signing up at azhumane.org. And what does it take to keep this operation going? This is a pricey unit. Yes it is and like we said you know in Arizona our kitten season is a lot longer than other areas because of the climate weather. Um, so it's last year was over two hundred thousand dollars to care for the more than 2,200 kittens that we saw in our bottle baby ICU and kitten nursery. So we really need those donations. Donations make such a big difference difference. It's such a critical time right now because summer is such a challenge and all day long your donations will be doubled thanks to Casino Arizona and Talking Stick Resort. And also today you want to stay tuned to a special edition of Pets on Parade. It starts at 1230. Back to you guys. Such an incredible effort. Thanks for showcasing that, Jessica. Yeah, I hadn't even thought about the fact that there do have to be people there 24-7 behind the scenes just making sure that they're, they're okay. So teeny. Yeah, they're cute little guys. Cute little